Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Today we have an opportune moment. We're going to do the first leg of the Orient Express achievement, which is one of the toughest achievements in the game. You have to do six legs starting in Paris and working all the way across to Istanbul. The first leg is Paris to, is to Strasbourg, and I've been looking for the opportunity to do this one because our truck is actually down in Istanbul right now. But the quick jobs count. And I was poking around. When I start up an episode, I just kind of look to see what's available from Paris. And lo and behold, here we have Paris to Strasbourg. Nine tons of cauliflower. Six hour and 25 minute route. So we're going to take this job and get started. This will be the first of the six legs that we need. Pretty excited about this because I've been looking for one of these routes for probably... Oh, maybe about four or five game sessions right now. So I think if we look right now, we actually, there is our cauliflower all loaded up right away. Let's uh, get a game shot of this and then I'll be right. I'm going to get a screenshot of this. Actually, I'll do one on the road somewhere. That'll be even cooler. So let's just get started here. And looks like it's three o'clock in the afternoon. I think we got to go forward. There we go. And I think we got to go out this way. So let's take it out nice and wide and then left. This is not our truck. So these quick jobs, if you're not familiar, I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with it, but if you're not, quick job means just gives you a random truck, random city. They don't pay as much as any of the other jobs, really. But they do have the thing that you don't have to go there and get them. You're just automatically transported there. Oops. Yeah. Got to pay attention to those corners here, don't we? But not off to a good start here. Jackknife the truck and everything, too, so... Let's see if we can sort this out here. So let's go this way. Take it nice and wide. And now cut the corner. There we go. All right. Now we're all sorted out. So let's just get started on the six-hour journey. It looks like it's going to be six hours. So we should arrive just shortly after nightfall into Strasbourg. And we are somewhere in the outskirts of Paris now. I don't know if we had to yield there or not, but I never trust those AI drivers. I've had enough that bus driver on that last episode. God, that was the worst. He was behind me, sped up in the right-hand lane, pulled in front of me, crashed into me, and it cost me 400 euros to f for a vehicle damage. Okay, let's go through that. So it looks like we got perfect weather. I mean, there's not a cloud in the sky and we should have mostly daylight. So pretty excited about this run. Been looking for this too for so long. Now I have heard that the second route, the Strasbourg to Munich route is the hardest one to get. And I was watching one of Old Lady Play's episodes. And if you haven't seen her episodes, I'll put a link down below because she started up Sunday Driver uh, episodes once a week she does a euro truck simulator 2 episodes so if you like watching euro truck simulator episodes uh, you'll enjoy watching her episodes and she has one now she's got by the way i think like 16 trucks and a lot more money she's just flown through the game here but she just finished in the episode i watched today she just finished the second leg she got the strasbourg to munich leg of the journey and whoa this truck can fly and she was saying that the idea that we had heard is that if you have your own trailer, it's much easier to get the, the roots. And she was able to do that by having buying a tanker and getting some milk for it and doing it that way. I don't have any trailers yet. That's something I want to explore next. But I was really happy to see a quick job pop up so we can get that. But yeah, we've got a, a nice drive here. We're driving in the outskirts of Paris. We're on the highway, six hours and 14 minutes. So we will touch base as we get a little bit closer to our destination, probably another couple hours down the road. Uh-oh. We have one of these things, little roadblock, but no worries. So I've seen now both Parkera and Old Lady Plays have created a new verb calling Zilla the Roadblocks. And that means you just drive through them and ignore them like we're doing now. And I'm actually very honored to have my first name be a verb like we did like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the roadblocks are highly overrated, I think, in this game. Just have to be straight ahead proactive. And most of the time they work out like that one did. But thanks so much to Park Air and Old Lady Place. I don't think my name has ever been a verb before. So I feel really 
humble and honored to have this distinction. So thank you to the both of you. I didn't realize, I mean, don't, I don't know, that's what I did growing up either. Yeah, under construction was always optional, right? I mean, we're about a third of the way into our journey now and outside of that roadblock, we have not had any other issues so far. A little bit of traffic now and this truck is kind of going slowly here. Probably gonna ram it at the tool booth here, but uh, other than that, no real issues and stuff. And just to kind of catch up in our real adventure, so our truck right now, I actually did kind of wiggle my way down to Istanbul from where we left off in the last episode. And I'm looking to try to do that achievement where you have to make runs between Istanbul and the four cities along the coast of the Black Sea. And you, it's, it sounds like a really fun achievement because you have to do perfect journeys between those four cities. And that means no fines, no accidents, and on time, which, <laughs> given some of the drivers, that sounds like it's going to be really challenging. So as I started up the computer today, started up the game today, I was looking for some routes between Istanbul, where our truck is, and Bargas, which is, uh, Bargas, which is about six hours to the northeast, the first city that you have to go to. So Istanbul, Bargas is that first route. Um, and there was one available, but it expired in just a few minutes, so I couldn't grab it. So then I poked around and spotted this and I thought I'd try to take this one. I'm not quite sure what how the real game time gets handled when you do a quick job. For example, does time proceed with our other truck? Um, I, I guess and confess I don't know. Let's see if I can drive that truck off the road. There we go. Uh, so we'll see once this one's done, because I really hope I can get Istanbul to Bargas. And I found a, what I think is going to be a really fun uh, landmark tour in Turkey, too. So looking forward to it. I've got a lot of ideas for episodes. I'm really excited about what might be able to do this week. But I think the first thing after this, unless there by any happen, luck happens to be a Strasbourg-Munich route available, then we're going to go right into that for the next episode. I just want to kind of always check for that and prioritize it, because it's such a tricky achievement to get. So... Weather continues to be good. It's about a uh, quarter to seven on Sunday evening here as we slice across the French countryside and uh, enjoying good time. I confess, I don't even know kind of what type of truck this is. I can't really see any markings on it, but it seems to be handling fine. It's, I mean, it's only nine tons and cauliflower. I mean, face it, really, cauliflower just isn't very heavy, right? So we're having no troubles pulling it and uh, making good time. And so far, so good. Knock on wood. No damage done to the truck or anything like that. What's going on here? Okay, a little bit of construction. So uh, we'll touch base then in a little bit. So a couple hours left in the journey now. And one thing else that I wanted to mention was that I upgraded the chassis on our original truck to this truck. is way close. Let's get him to slow down. There we go. Thank you. Uh, I upgraded the chassis on our truck to get a mid-lift chassis and I, that should help with heavier loads and what i realized is you can I, I don't know why i didn't think of this because i think you can get the performance of both you, depending on whether you lift that axle up that middle axle up or not you can get the performance and maneuverability for light loads by lifting the axle up and then you can drop the axle down when you've got a heavier load so that should help us with heavier loads and performance and stuff like that. So we did, we got up to about 80,000 euros. And then I just dropped about 40,000 euros on that. And in the meantime, now some of our hired drivers here have gotten uh, 56,000 euros in there. And I think the next thing I'd like to do is buy a base, a garage in Istanbul while we're down around there, because there are a lot of industries in Istanbul. And it'd be nice then to have a base on the other side of kind of the game map in the southeast corner and maybe try to go, you know, if Milan is kind of centralized, then get one way up in the northeast tip of Russia, may, Russia, maybe St. Petersburg or something like that. Then maybe one down in somewhere down in Portugal, maybe Lisbon or something like that when they uh, add the Iberia DLC. Then we have one in Plymouth and we'd have one in Milan, which would be pretty perfect. Maybe one then in Scandinavia too, to try to scatter them out geographically so we really could move around pretty easy. But uh, that's kind of random thoughts and I'm pretty excited to do these next set of episodes. Looks like it's getting dark now. Some clouds have moved in. We've got about an hour and a half left, and we'll uh, check in as we get uh, closer to our final destination. What? Ah. Really? Made a wrong turn. That wasn't clear. 
and our Korean friend did not help us there. So we'll be a little delayed here. Not by much. Looks like we're just coming around the other side of the city. So in terms of Euro Truck Simulator 2 detours or delays or rerouting, that's a pretty mild one. So frustrating when you're driving and you miss an exit and then it adds like two hours to your destination. But this was just a couple minutes actually. So got lucky there. Almost home now. Strasbourg discovered, and I do see that there is, while we're here, there is another little question mark over here. So I think we should go check it out because it's not going to add much to the trip. And we always want to find the question marks. Let's see if we can make this light. Don't turn yellow, don't turn yellow, don't turn yellow, don't turn yellow. Nice. All righty. What do we got here? This looks like a dealer. Is that Scania? And our left here. Yep. Nice. Skinny a truck dealer discovered. Excellent. I think we take a right turn here and then we are there. So only about three minutes left. So we'll stick around and have a little chat. Strasbourg's looks pretty cool. I think there are a lot of landmarks in the European uh, towns. And what I did notice is that there are landmarks. So the, there's a Wikipedia site for Euro Truck Simulator 2, which is pretty cool. But, and it has most of the landmarks in Europe, of course, but it doesn't have any of them for Turkey. And I know there are some in the game. So there's some places where it's, uh, they don't list them all for whatever reason. Got to pay attention. I go right here, I think. Yep, well, there we go. All right, let's get this cauliflower to market over the curbstone there. Ugh, not our best corner. What kind of parking are we going to get here? I guess with the quick jobs, can you get parking challenges? 90. Nice. What do we got? Okie dokie. So that's a question of how do you approach it? Because we kind of have to turn the truck around, right? Hmm. Could be interesting. If we could turn the truck around, it's going to be pretty straightforward. And we're going to have to turn the truck around anyway, right? So the question is, do we have the maneuverability here? Oh, that truck's in the way. How do we turn the truck around as easily as we can? I think come over here and then cut it this way. Let's see if we can do that. And pull it forward here. And then it should be a pretty easy 90, I think. Yeah, we're almost straight on it now, right? Get it straight and then back up. I can't see off that right side a little bit. Ah, we're crooked. Oh, damn it. This isn't my own truck with my mirrors all set up the way. Oh, goodness. What am I doing? That's terrible. We'll uh, get this sorted out, then we'll be back. I didn't. T well, I still can time this one, actually, can't I? That was pretty generous there for us on that one. We'll take it though. All righty. So let's see if we get that a little achievement should pop up. We'll see it. There it is. Orient Express part one of six. I'll post it up on the thing here. Well, there we go. Um, not so much money, but I feel good about getting that first segment of the hardest achievement in the game done. So thanks for tuning in. We'll be back on Wednesday for another episode. Not quite sure what we're going to do. We've got a bunch of episodes I want to do this week. I'm not quite sure how it'll work with which one will come up. But thanks for tuning in. If you've enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please consider subscribing and notification button if you want to keep up with all the stuff that's coming out. Have a great day, everybody. Stay safe. We'll see you in the next episode.